Well, new court documents show three of the six people killed in that deadly K Street shootout were allegedly members of gangs. According to the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office, the three are Joshua Hoy Lucchesi, Devazia Turner, and Sergio Harris. ABC 10's Becca Habegger has more on those documents. Beautiful community. We just got to find our way back. Mervyn Brookins is CEO of the Del Paso Heights based program Brother to Brother. They work to reduce gang activity by mentoring teens and young men in gangs or at risk of joining gangs. Sacramento police say the April 3rd K Street shooting is gang related. Local violence intervention specialists say typically retaliation from such an incident would happen within 48 hours a week at most. A lot of organizations have been successful at reaching some of the members of the gangs that were involved and getting cooler heads to prevail. So there hasn't been any retaliation and hopefully that continues. Brookins says the K Street shooting caught violence prevention advocates off guard. This is the first time that I remember where the shooting was just so reckless and it involved so many people that had nothing to do with the issue. So I asked him if there is something that should have been detected ahead of time. I don't think there was anything missed. I think this particular group of individuals just hadn't been reached. I really believe that had we had just one of those guys in our program that we could have made a difference. And here's why. One of the main things we teach these young men is how to say no to their own friends. He says there is a variety of reasons why someone would commit a violent crime, but one of them is income inequality. The United Ways of California says nearly one third of all households in the state don't earn enough money to meet their basic needs. If I don't have a job to, to sustain myself or sustain my family, I'm going to go back to the only thing that I know. And if the only thing that I know is a criminal lifestyle, then that's what I'm going to do to try to take care of myself. And looking ahead to the summer when the crime rate often goes up, Brookins says he is connecting with a handful of other organizations just like his from around the community to form what they're calling the Safe Sacramento Coalition. They'll do gang interviction work that spans multiple neighborhoods.